Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today in this video, let's see how to configure a rental product and a rental period. So you know both of them are available in the rental module of Odo 80. Okay, so you can easily create a rental product as well as a rental period. So you know what a rental product is, the product which we are taking for rent and the rental period is the period which we mention like we'll be taking a product for a day, for a week, for a month, whatever it is, we'll pre-configure these periods and this will be used in the rental orders. So I'm not confusing you guys, let's move on to the video and see how it works. So now let me show you how a rental product and a rental period has been configured. So for that first let's go to the rental module and go to the products. So here we have a lot of you know rental products which are pre-created. So I'm going to create a new product for that. Let's click on new and this is the creation page. So here I am giving the name of the product as TV. TV is my rental product. I'm starring it and here you can see it's a rental. So here you have the product type which is goods, service or combo. So obviously it's goods and the track by inventory. That is you have specific options to track your inventory. So you can either do it by quantity, lots or using unique serial number. So I'm putting it to quantity itself. And here is the area where you can add sales price. So here if you go to the rental prices section, you can see the pricing as well as the reservation. So this pricing can be done based on the different periods. So I'll show that. And here you have the option to do the reservation. So for an extra hour, you are charging how much? For an extra day, how much you are charging? All such things can be given here. And this is the security time. Okay. So to temporarily make this product unavailable before pickup. So how many hours before the orders? That time should be specified over here. So product is created and I'm saving it. Now I'll show you how to use this product. So if you go to orders and click on new. Okay, so basically you are now creating a new rental order. So you can add the customer and then add the product. So this is the product which is TV and the unit price as you can see it's one. And by default the rental period will be for a single day. Okay, so here you can see one day and the rental period is given here as well. So you can change it based on your you know need. So I'm putting it to till six. Okay, so here you can see it's 5 and then you have the option to, sorry, let's go back. Okay, then you can see the price has been updated over here. I mean, not the price, the duration has been updated over here. That is 5 days. Okay, so even if you want to change it from here, you can do that. Simply click on the rental period and configure it. So here you can see the duration is now 6 days. So it's updated, right? So you need to obviously update the rental price. So if you click on this, it will recompute everything. So I'm going to click on OK. So now it's for 6 days. And here you can see the unit price will remain the same. And here you have the period given. So it's from 1 to 7. Okay. For 6 days, the rent has been taken. So that's how you normally configure. But there's another way where you can actually configure this particular period. Rather than giving it here, you can configure it inside the product itself. Okay. So I'll show you. Before that, you should know where this rental period is configured from. So under the configuration, you have this rental period. And you have a lot of rental periods over here. Okay, so for to for y'all to create one, you can click on new. If it's monthly, whatever the name is, you can specify it. The duration can be chosen. I mean, can be specified and the unit can be chosen from here. So if I'm planning for two months, then how I'm giving here duration as two and the unit I'm choosing as month. So I'm not creating one because we have a lot here. So let's go to the products. Here you have TV. Going to rental prices and here I'm setting the pricing. Okay, so five days I'm choosing and the rental price for five days is 100. Okay, so now let's see how it affects it. So going to the orders. So this was the one which we created previously. There the unit price was one because I didn't specify anything, right? I didn't specify any order. Uh, I mean rental plan. So let's create a new one. And from here I'm specifying the name of the customer. So the name was added and directly let's add the product. So the product is TV. So as soon as I add 
TV, you can see the period is given there. Okay, and the unit price is also changed. So by default, this will be the period. So I'm just putting it to six. Okay. Now the duration is 5. The period has changed but the unit price remains the same. So the price will be calculated based on the rules which we set. That too based on the rental period. So for a product we are setting a price. Okay, this is for 5 days and the unit price will be this much. Okay, so that's how you configure the rental period as well as the rental product. So I hope that's clear for you guys and I hope now you all know how to configure and create a product as well as a rental period. So, go to the configuration and there you can see the rental periods, okay. So, it's that simple. Now, after creating the rental order, you can complete the procedure. So, right now, it's in quotation state. You can confirm it, make it to a sale order and complete the procedure, okay. So, yeah, guys, that's it. So, that's how you can easily configure both rental period and rental products. So, I hope that's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.